and, and, and really played our brand of basketball. High assists, 24 assists on 16 turnovers. We got Monica involved in this game, nine for 10. Um, I thought McKenna, you know, I'm really happy for her. This is her last time coming home to Madison. And, you know, last year she was hurt here and just being able to come back and have a really great game out here. Uh, I'm really happy for her. Um, Caitlin just became the all-time best in the Big Ten at triple doubles with seven. She took over a fellow Iowa player in Sam Logic, who was from Wisconsin. Um, but I thought Caitlin could have done anything she wanted out there, and I thought she really controlled the game today um, and just did a, a tremendous job. So congratulations um, to Caitlin for that. That's, that's an amazing accomplishment. Go ahead, yeah. Um, you know, I thought we got our transition game going um, really well in the first half. Um, I, we, I mean, we shot the ball really well. We, we finally shot our threes like we're capable of shooting our threes. I mean, we shot the ball well from all areas. I mean, 63% overall, 52 from three, 75 from the line. We could probably do a little bit better from the line, but, um, you know, it just was nice to see us get into an offensive flow. Yeah, we knew those were key players for sure, especially number five. Like, she was all over our scouting report. So, um, you know, I thought Kate did a good job on her. I know she got in a little foul trouble there in the first half, but the people we subbed in uh, communicated did a really good job. So, um, you know, I thought overall our defense was really good. There were some times where we had a, a few lapses, um, and we know that's an area we can get better on is just our consistency overall of just keeping our defensive level at the same um, the entire game. But I thought – we did a really good job of communicating, talking where the switches were. They were running a lot of different sets, a lot of different plays where switching action was important. So, um, but I thought we guarded her very well, and we knew that coming in. We knew that was a key for us if we wanted to, to win the game. I mean, it's always nice to come back to your hometown. Um, everyone loves doing that. But, you know, it's always a great crowd here, too. So a lot of Hawk fans out there. Um, we have the mm -hmm. best fans in the country. Um, it, yeah, it's just amazing. So, uh, Could you just expand on what it's like playing alongside uh, the Big Ten leader all time in triple doubles? <laughs> and Caitlin, if you want to follow up, this is the second straight time you've been to the Kohl Center and, and come away with a triple double. Mm -hmm. Is Just what works so well here for you? Yeah, well, I mean, she's just amazing. I, I, you know, that's the only way to put it. Um, no player like her in the country, best player in the country. But I also think, like, you don't uh, – most people don't see how hard of a worker she is. Um, she works – outworks everyone um, on our team, on any team. She's always in shooting. And she also just has, you know, the, the most – the most, like, courage and just – I don't know. She's just an amazing person, too, outside of basketball. And so um, it's amazing playing against, playing against someone like that and being on the team. I think I love playing here. I love coming here. I told Kate before the game, like, I love playing here. Um, I feel like there's a lot of Hawk fans that come out and support a lot of young girls that come to these games, um, which is awesome for Wisconsin basketball. I just want to say that, too, to, to have young girls come and watch, watch your team. And um, Wisconsin's good this year. Um, I really think they're a difficult team. They challenge us in a lot of areas. But um, I don't know. I just like coming to the Cole Center and playing. I always – I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a little cold, so I like it. But I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's a huge honor. And Sam Logic was a tremendous player for Coach Bluter. So to be able to pass somebody that I watched when I was a little kid, um, you know, it's a huge honor. But, you know, none of that happens without my teammates. You can't get 10 assists if your teammates don't make 10 shots. So, you know, I know that's not possible without any of them. And, um, you know, I thought we really bounced back and showed what Iowa basketball is tonight. Coach, Caitlin is off of two huge games. She had 46, 46 points, 45 points the other night and, and tonight. I mean, just how, how does somebody of her talent grow uh, when she's already at that level and just what she means to the team? Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, we're, I think that's what makes Caitlin so great is that she's always trying to get better and she always understands that you can improve 
I mean, this is a... Five turnovers is too many, so that's the answer. <laughs> it's, it's, this is a hard game to play, and there's mistakes happening all the time. And when you can master, you know, overcoming those mistakes and, 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 and being able to continue to keep your focus and focus on the next play, um, I, I'm just really proud of her for the way mentally she played out there today. Um, I thought she got her teammates involved. But yeah, I think she also understands there's always, I mean, she'll go back like five turnovers. She breaks that up. She wants to become perfect at a game that is imperfect. You can't. And, and, and I think that's what makes her really, really good. Is it real? She, she's so vested in this game. Caitlin, what is just your relationship with McKenna and what has she meant to you in this program over uh, her time here? Yeah, I think Ken's like the Swiss Army knife of our team. Like, she's always the one doing it. You never know if she's going to drive the, bas the, the ball to the basket. She's going to hit threes. You know, she's probably one of our best defenders, if not the best defender on our team. She's always getting difficult matchups, whether it's a post player one night, a guard another night. Um, I just think that kind of speaks to the Swiss Army knife. Like, you never know what you're going to need out of her, but she's always stepping up to the plate. and. Um, you know, she's not somebody that walks around and, like, is very not humble. Like, she's a very humble person. Um, you know, I see her in the gym working on her game. Uh, she's always giving to her teammates. But I, I think Ken's one of those players that doesn't always get the recognition that she deserves. Um, and she does a lot of little things for this team. But I think one way to describe her is just that Swiss Army knife. She's always doing things that from game to game might change, but it's really what the team needs. Question for either of the players. Um, I know the frustration was there was a lot of frustration after the NC State game. You guys lost two in a row. How big was today? Do you know go out pretty good rebounding, pretty good defense. You shot the ball well. Uh, five players in double figures. How how big is it to just have you know a win and get back on track? Yeah, I think it's huge for us. And we know you know you can't go back in time and change anything that happened. You can only learn and grow from it. And UConn and NC State are tremendous teams, uh, top ten teams, if not higher than that. Um, so I think, you know, obviously we could have beat both of them. Um, and I think that just shows where we are. But we were super disappointed in losing to both, too. So um, I think being able to shoot the ball how we did tonight, get everybody going. And when we have multiple people in double figures, that's when we're at our best. Um, and I think it's going to be like that going forward. So I think it's just good for everybody to see the ball go in the hoop and, um, you know, have that bounce back game. And I think that tells you a lot about this team. We're resilient. Maybe we've lost, I think, three out of our last five. But, you know, that doesn't matter. You just got to take another step forward and show up every single day and work. Lisa, I'll ask you the, the, kind of the same question. Five scores and double figures, 24 assists. Is this kind of the performance that you, you like to see every night where everybody's kind of contributing here and there? And you know, as, much, as fun as it is to see Caitlin score 45, this is, this is what you would rather see in a box score? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is the way. And that's what, all I wanted coming in here. We wanted to go 1-0 oh in the Big Ten. We wanted to execute. We wanted to play a clean game, a, a, just a fundamentally sound game. And, and I think we did that tonight. And um, that's what, I, that's what I'm most happy about. Uh, McKenna, you started shooting the ball really well. Um, buried that three in, in the last 15 of the first quarter um, to give you guys that five-point cushion. And then from there, you guys held them without a field goal for nearly seven minutes. Um, how huge was that for you to get off to such a hot start? And Coach Bluter, uh, to see her get going like that and lead into uh, that real dominant stretch to start the second quarter, how pivotal was that? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely nice to see a couple shots go down right away. Um, that always helps the nerves, especially on the road, but especially when you haven't seen it in the past couple games. But um, yeah, I think it was just really good passing for my teammates, and they were just looking for me, and they were going in. So that's, that's always helpful at the beginning of the game. Yeah, Caitlin said it earlier. I don't think McKenna gets enough credit on our team. And it's because I feel like, you know, everybody knows about the two people that we have on our team that are on the Wade list, and they deserve to be on the Wade list. Um, but you don't get on the Wade list without really good people around you. And McKenna is always the person that she does all the dirty work, you know? I mean, she, she's in there rebounding. She's, she's feisty on defense. Um, you know, she'll hit those threes and bring out the defense. Um, I, I'm just – I'm – I'm really happy for her, but I'm also happy for the academic side that she brings. I mean, she's going to be an amazing dentist. I mean, she's had a great academic career as well, and she's one of the leaders on our team. I mean, she's a captain for a reason, and uh, she is one of the leaders. Um, again, maybe everybody else doesn't respect how much McKenna does for our team. We do. We know. Yeah, you guys all mentioned how many Hawks fans were in today. 
were, th- were there a lot of Silver Eagle fans too? And just having a turnout like that for you, just in like Coach mentioned, probably your last game here. Um, what does that mean? Yeah, I mean, I think there might have been a couple Silver Eagle, Silver Eagle fans. Um, there were a couple of those signs with Silver Eagles on it, so that was pretty cool to see. But you know, it's just awesome going to your hometown, um, seeing that support. It's super cool, even through these four years. Um, I'm extremely blessed to have had, you know, such a good upbringing and such a good hometown, and so, um, and I'm extremely blessed to be a Hawkeye also. So. Just one last question for me. I wanted to, to ask about Monica Sonano. I know she's struggled at times. Uh, defense has been pretty good on her this year. Uh, 18 points, 9 to 10 shooting, 8 rebounds. How important is it to you know see her get going in a game like this? Oh, really important. I mean, we missed her the last couple of games. And some of that was self-inflicted. Um, some of that was us not getting her the ball. Um, I will tell you she was under the weather a little bit in the last game. Um, and so I'm, I'm tr- not making excuses for Monica, but at the same time, uh, she was pretty sick. And um, so I, I, I just thrilled to see Monica playing, you know, with the joy that she usually plays with.